We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Cincinnati Reds and the Arizona Diamondbacks. At the plate, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll get us started in this one under the lights. Now the one and one pitch is strike two swinging. And they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two. Don't be surprised if he gets another back foot slider right here. Don't think for a second just because he took the first one that this pitcher won't come back exactly the same way. Batting second. The right fielder number two. Into the box now. Philip Urban. Swing and a liner. In there, a base hit. He beat it. Batting third. The first baseman, number 19. Joey. So now to the plate, Joey Votto. A good action on the two seamer there, and it's one and two. Fouled off. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. It looked like he tried to get him to chase on that pitch there, one and two. A good idea, but I think now he has to challenge him a little bit. He doesn't want to get into a worse situation with the cleanup guy up next. Fouled away. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And I don't think that's what he wanted to do as the bases are loaded now with still nobody out. The three and one pitch. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is Peralta. It's a grand slam. Standing in now, Mike Mustakis. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Another full count pitch home. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. That is it. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Three balls and a strike to the shortstop of the Reds. Line to the right side. And that's into the outfield for a one-out hit. Batting seven. The center fielder. Number 44. Into the box, Aristides Aquino. Nope, at the ball. Three and one. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. Now the three and two pitch. Lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and second now with one away. In now for the Reds. Kurt Casale. And now the Reds look to push more across the plate in the opening frame. And this pitch misses to the Reds catcher. Now two and one. Lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray. He's gone two for eight. And a fastball, but he's losing it a bit here to three and one now. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back to back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. The pitcher, number 30. Ready now for Cincinnati. Tyler Molly. And a big hit here with the bases loaded could really put this one out of reach early on. 
pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Marte is in now to put it away, and that'll keep the runner from tagging. And there will be no advance here. It's a wasted opportunity as the bases remain loaded with two away now. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. In tight with the slider, two and two. Well, his last time out, guys were just flailing away at that slider. But tonight, completely different story. I think their approach coming to the plate tonight was to lay off that pitch until he shows he can throw it for a strike. And that misses. Ball four. A run will come in to score. Alex Young comes on to work much earlier than anticipated, obviously, as he'll try and right the ship in the very first inning. Philip Irvin will be the first one to greet him, and he'll bat in a big spot here. Bases loaded and two out in the inning. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Digging in next will be Starling Marte. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 3-1. Here we go. High in the air out to center field. Aquino is there, and he has it for the first out. So the base is empty here with one away, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Now the three and two pitch. High and deep to right center. Long run for the center fielder. But he can't get there and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. The center fielder. To the plate now. Patel Martin. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Aquino calls off the left fielder as he takes charge for the second out. Up next for Arizona, David Peralta. Opportunity for him here to pick up that runner from second with two away. Here's the 1-1. And he pumps the fastball by him here. One and two now. And a fastball in the dirt that's taken for a ball. This is on the ground over to first. Taken in by Vado. And he'll step on the bag himself. And the inning is over. In is Joey Vado now. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs, too. Two and one the count. Late that time for a strike. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Another try at 2-2. And this is swung on and missed by Votto and he's retired for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into the batter's box next, a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league, a Eugenio Suarez. Nope. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Cut fastball that time, but he doesn't bite, and now it's three and one. This is where you cash your checks right here. Three one. You're one of the best hitters in the game. You live for situations like this. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Hit hard on the ground at first. And there's out number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And up next, the former World Series hero, Mike Moustakis.
swinging a soft liner, but an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. Ready now for the Diamondbacks, Eduardo Escobar. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on. But you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle. And one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked at full now at three and two. Christian Walker waits on deck. Pulled toward right center field. Aquino is to his left as he puts it away in the alley for the first out of the inning. Now batting, Christian Walker. He went deep in the contest last night. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Stephen Vogt is on deck. And this is popped foul off to the right and back into the seats. Another full count pitch home. And he fouls this one off. He loses him on ball four. Settling in now, Stephen Vogt, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. The one two. Now a drive out to left center field. Walker rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as the gap shortens to four now. At the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. The pitcher, Alex Young, steps up to the plate in a sacrifice situation. So let's see if that is indeed on right here. And they do have him bunting with one away as he puts this one down. There's one. Back to Votto, but it's not in time as they settle for just the one. Back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring up Starling Marte. And a curveball drops in on 2-1, two, 2-2 two and two now. I know to the fans that probably looked like something good to hit, but unless you're sitting breaking ball right there, I don't care if it's middle of the plate. That's a tough pitch to pull the trigger on. Runners on first and third, two away. Her ball locks him up, strike three, and that's the third out. Top of the third set to get underway, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Now the 2 1 pitch. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. At the plate, Aristides Aquino. He drew a walk his first time up. Bases are empty, one man out. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Soft liner to the right side. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now in the box, Kirk Casale reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. The 1-1 home is laid off for ball two. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. And a great location that time on the corner. Three and two now. And he'll lay off the cut fastball here as this misses off the plate for ball four. The pitcher, number 30. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Tyler Molly. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. 
the 1 1 takes a pass and misses that strike two. You have to find a way to lay off that low sinker. There is just no way to do any damage. You're just looking at either a bruised shin or a ground out to the left side. Count even at two and two. From the belt, kicks and deals. And it's fouled away. Casale leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. And another foul ball. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Center fielder giving chase. He can't get there, so the inning will continue. And the score is the runner from first. It's six to one. The batter, the left fielder, Nick. At the plate now, Nicholas Castellanos. Now a cut fastball, and this is over, but low. It's ball four. Ready for another chance. Philip Urban, one for two on his line so far in the game. Now the three and two pitch. Line towards center field. Marte is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the third now. And coming forward now is the shortstop, Nick Ahmed. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Breaking ball that time that misses out of the zone. Not a time to fool around right now on a 3-2 count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. Fouled off. The next 3-2. Hard liner but picked up on a hop. And that's out number one. Now at the plate, Cattell Marte, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Into the corner and slicing foul. One out, nobody on. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. And there's a base hit on the line. So now to the plate, David Peralta. And the splitter's in there as he gets ahead here, one and two. Ball two. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Into the box now, Eduardo Escobar hits softly down the line at first. Oh, and that all developed too late to get him at first, and now the bases are loaded here. Now batting, the first baseman, Christian. Stepping in now, Christian Walker. Three balls and a strike, flirting with a little danger here. Hit out of play, and it's a full count now. That's popped up. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. And this is on the ground to short. Could be two to second for one. Really, Devato's in time at first, and it's a double play. Side retired. Ready once again, Joey Votto. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. The 2 2 one more time. He is swung on and missed. He got him. So one away here with the bases empty. And that'll bring in Eugenio Suarez. 
Eugenio Flores. Hit to short. And there are two away now. Stepping in, Mike Mustakis. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. He wants that changeup back right there. Great arm action on that changeup. Hitter was just a smidge out in front. Outside in a full count, three and two. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Stephen Vogt. A two-ball, two-strike count to the Diamondbacks catcher. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. and -2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Here's the pitch. 2-2 pitch is a fastball high, so it runs full 3-2. And, and that misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. Striding in once again, Hildemaro Vargas. He drew a base on balls his first time up. The 1-1 home. Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts, and working himself into a lot of trouble. And that's through for a hit. Up next to the diamond bat, the pitcher. Alex. Standing in now, Alex Young. And they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down. One there, but he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. Wade Miley takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Starling Marte will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at and the count moves full. One run, six hits, no errors so far for the Diamondbacks. Just hung in there on that one. The 3 2 one more time. This is hit high and deep out to left. Looking up is the left fielder, still ranging back. And that one is gone! Into the box, Nick Ahmed. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Castellanos comes on now and puts it away for the second out of the inning. Stepping in, Patel Marte. He singled his last time up. 1-1 one, one. is an off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Bases are empty here with two men out. Three balls, one strike to Cattell Marte. Well, it's a pretty well-known fact that your batting average goes up as you get into more favorable hitters counts, and that's especially true when we're talking about this kind of hitter. Not a great spot to be in if you're the pitcher. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona, David Peralta. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. And it's one and two. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. 
Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Count remains two and two. Miley sets. Here's the delivery. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvez. Set to deal on a ball and two strikes. Well, I think after that foul away, this pitcher can go almost anywhere he wants. That pitch was way off the plate and off speed. I'm surprised he even offered it that one. Swing and a miss, and he'll start the fifth the same way he ended the fourth the with a punch out, one away. 24. Ready with the one and one. Hit hard down the line. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. He'll get it into second. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two base hit. Up next for Cincinnati, the catcher, Kirk Casale. In now, Kirk Casale. Off speed pitch misses here, and he runs it to three and one. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. The pitcher, number 22. So here's the Reds pitcher, Wade Miley. First at bat of the game for him here in the fifth, as he was a late entrant into this one. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. The second for one. Throw on to first won't be in time, so they just get the one there. The left fielder. Nick Castellanos at the plate now and we'll see what he can do here with a pair of runners on base and two gone here in the fifth towards second and the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Stepping up to the plate Eduardo Escobar one for two in the ball game thus far. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Swing, high drive, left field and deep. And he's going to make the catch. And he paid a big price for it, too, now as he crashes it. headlong into the wall. Yeah. Now at the plate, Christian Walker. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Hit on the ground out to short. Fielded by Galvis. And that's the second out. Coming to the plate now, Stephen Vogt. And to his motion, here comes the 3 and 1. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full 3 and 2. Lifted in the air to center. Center fielder giving chase. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Merrill Kelly takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Now pitching for the Diamondback. Number 29. Striding into the box, Philip Urban. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Weak grounder down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. And a fastball is hit on the ground towards short. Ahmed has it. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. So upsets the former MVP Joey Votto. He went down on strikes last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Marte is there, two gone. 
So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He was a ground out victim last time up. And he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. Turned on down the line. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. To short, hit hard. That gets through and he'll reach base again on his second base hit of the game. The batter number two. Second base hit. Mike. At the plate, Mustakis. Mike Mustakis. A ball and two strikes. Hits are even at seven apiece. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. Ready with another 2 2. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full 3 and 2. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Hit hard on the ground to the right. And Mustakis is aboard. It's a base hit. And they won't even attempt to run on that arm in right. So despite the runner moving on the pitch, it'll wind up first and second here. At the plate now, Freddie Galvis. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta on the move. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Into the box now, Hildemaro Vargas. He'll be the first to swing it here in the Arizona sixth inning. The 1 1 home. Nope, inside, ball two. Might have been taking all the way right there. That pitch couldn't have split the strike zone any better. And you can bet he wants that one back at the plate. And he got him. Number one, Domingo And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And the pinch hitter will not be able to advance the cause, and there are two away now. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now, and stepping in, Starling Marte. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Swing and a liner. And that gets down and ought to be good for extra bases. On his way to second goes Marte. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. The batter number 13. Nick Ahmed. Stepping in now, Nick Ahmed. Doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full three and two. Hit on the ground to third. Scooped up. And nothing will come of the two-out double as the inning is over. Stefan Crichton is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 58. In now, Aristides Aquino. He doubled earlier in the game, one for two to this point. And there's a base hit on the line. So it's a leadoff base hit, and it makes for a good start to the inning for Cincinnati. Now back. Kirk Casale. So now to the plate, Kirk Casale. And he takes ball four again. And they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. Jesse Winker will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Six runs, nine hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. This year against right-handed pitching, Winker hits a little over the 270 mark. And that jammed him a bit there as it's fouled at the plate.
Here's a fastball in on the fist, and that'll even things up at two and two. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Fastball got him looking as that had two seam action on it, one gone. Left fielder, Dick Castellano. And he takes ball four again, and they clearly just don't want any part of him in this one. That'll bring in Philip Irvin. Irvin. Even at a ball and a strike. Here's the pitch. Popped him up. Vargas over to his left. And that's the second out of the inning. Stepping into the box, Joey Votto. Over three with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Votto. to two and two now. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Pedro Stroh gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Now at the plate, Patel Marte, a hit in two tries for him so far. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and blast? They could certainly use that right now. Fielded by Moustakis on the first, and that is a big out to lead off the home seventh. Into the box, David Peralta. He's working on a one for three thus far. Strike two, swinging just out in front of the slider. And that one got a piece of him. Digging in now, Eduardo Escobar. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Eduardo Escobar. The one two is swung on and missed. He got him. So coming to the plate, Christian Walker. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. The 1-2. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're going to go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. That one is out of here. This game is tied. To the plate now, Stephen Vogt fouled away. Two out, nobody on. The bouncer to the left side, reined in. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Archie Bradley will come on now, and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Carson Kelly will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 18. 1-1. One, one. It is taken for ball two. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. 
On deck, Mike Moustakis. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Digging in, Mike Moustakis. He's one for four for the game. Now the one and one pitch. Waves and misses for strike number two. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Working for the punch out and the offering. Go ahead runs aboard here at first with nobody out. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvis. One and one. Here it comes. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Hot shot on the ground is short. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Rysel Iglesias is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. So striding in, Ildemaro Vargas, a hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. The 1-1 home. Hit out towards second. And that'll get through in the center, so there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. Now time is called, and we'll have a pinch runner at first, and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go-ahead run. In now, Carson Kelly. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away, and that'll bring up Starling Marte. He's running. Swing and a miss, strike three. The throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base. So a runner at second. Two down now, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. The 2-2, heading out towards shallow right. And eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over. Now at the plate, Aristides Aquino. He steps in off a base hit in his last at-bat. 1-1 one, one home. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Now that Digging in, Kirk Casale. No official at bat for him, but he has scored a run in this one. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. The relay, not in time, and he's in there with a double. Tucker Barnhart will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Go ahead, runs in scoring position here with one away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Off the outside that time as the breaking ball can't catch the zone. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. In there, and it's full three and two. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. And that misses two and one. Three balls and a strike to the Reds' left fielder. 
pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Now a ball hit foul off to the right and up into the crowd. Now the three and two pitch. Oh, and look at this. High in the air and deep. And when this ball comes down, they'll have taken the lead home run. Kevin Ginkle enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Number 37, Kevin Ginkle. Into the box, Philip Irvin. This one sinks low and a touch outside. It's a full count, three and two. There's Joey Votto as he gets ready in the on-deck circle. And he fouls this one off. Here's a fly ball well hit. Peralta going back at the track. The wall gone. Back to back homers. Standing in now, Joey Votto. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Peralta is under it. He's got it, and there are two down now. So now the Reds' cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He's already got four RBIs in this one. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Mike Mustakis would be next. There's ball four. At the plate, Mike Mustakis. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, he needs to clean it up. He's already got the hat trick. The boys are wondering if the golden sombrero is soon to follow. Gotta lock this A.B. in. Three and one to him now. Open stance by Mustakis, and now the pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Peralta's after it. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Matt Bowman, a right-hander standing six foot even, will take over the pitching duties here. Number 67. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that'll bring up the infielder, Cattell Marte. One and two now. Still a ball and two strikes. Now another one, two. In tight with the slider, two and two. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Throw on to first in time, one away. Now to the plate, now David that. Peralta. Last time up, he was hit by a pitch. Yeah, Matty, you're not lying. Last time up, squared right in the back. Hopefully it doesn't stiffen up. I want to see if he can get through something right here. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Aquino is there, and folks are starting to head for the exits now. Two gone here in the ninth. Digging in the switch hitter, Eduardo Escobar. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Maybe too much break on the slider. Two and one. Good pitch as this is swung on and missed, and now they're down to perhaps their final strike of the evening. Sliced hard on the ground, and that finds its way through for a base hit. Into the box now, Christian Walker, and here's a ball hit in the air. 
But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Arizona down to its last strike. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, the tone was set for this game from the very first inning. They came out absolutely banging the ball around and took that great start to another notch in the win column. Ten to six, the final score in this game. Cincinnati put up four runs in the ninth inning to carry them to the victory. Rysel Iglesias earns his third win of the year in relief. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian, we all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. The final line score for our ball game tonight for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. 10 runs, 12 hits, no errors. They left 14 men on base. For the Diamondbacks, 6 runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left 10 men on base. Time of the ball game, 4 hours and 16 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight.